These are the three simple changes that I use with everyone that I train to create incredible nutrition while keeping things simple and easy. I always give this disclaimer about this point. I want you to not overlook these principles because they're so simple. That is the beauty and that is the power of them. That they're easy to apply, they're inexpensive, they're not gimmicky, they're not fads, they're not something that you're only gonna be able to sustain for a little while, all right? They're simple, attainable, and extremely powerful and they yield massive results. There's three things, so let's jump right in. Number one, drink more water, all right? If there is one shift that I would tell everyone to do that would create the biggest result, this would be it. As a general rule, a gallon of water per day is a great goal, but it can be modified to be a little bit more specific. I always tell people half your body weight in ounces of water is a great goal. So if a person weighs 200 pounds, they would shoot for 100 ounces of water per day. I can go into the science of why this is so helpful extensively. We'll do that another time. But for today, just know that it makes every system of your body work better. It makes weight loss much easier. It creates satiety and it curbs hunger pains. So when you are transitioning between different types of eating, like if you have a poor diet and you're transitioning into eating healthy foods, this will help that process so you don't feel so hungry, you don't feel uncomfortable, okay? More focus, uh, it just makes everything that you do work better. Okay, so half your body weight in ounces of water. That's number one. Number two, eat ridiculous amounts of leafy green vegetables. Organic when possible, but that's your spring mix, that's your spinach, that's kale, chard, things like that. I usually recommend that people go to the store and buy the big 16 ounce tub of organic spring mix and the 16 ounce tub of organic spinach. And then when you're putting together your salads, you just grab a big handful of each, throw it in a bowl, put some olive oil, apple cider vinegar on there, or your favorite healthy dressing, and you're ready to go. Salads don't need to be super fancy, but they do need to be present. The greens, obviously we know that they have lots of vitamins and minerals, but they also have lots of enzymes, which help you break down all the food that you're eating and absorb it better. It makes you poop better, all right? It makes you, your waste better, just makes everything more efficient, all right? These two points, the water and the greens, are so powerful that I'll often have people do a little experiment where they start on a Friday morning, they do a mirror check first thing in the morning, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so those three days, they drink as much water as they can, they eat as many leafy green vegetables as they can, and they don't change anything else. They just have their normal diet, even if their diet's not very good. And they check Friday morning, and then at the end of those three days, on Monday morning, they check again in the mirror, and they will be visibly leaner and feel better. Again, their waist will be better. All right, it just makes everything work more efficiently. Number three, any high level trainer will encourage you to do this and it's a very powerful tool in creating structure to your overall nutrition. And that is including a high quality protein source at each meal as the anchor of that meal. All right, whether that's uh, meat, fish, eggs, those are typically our starting points. If a person doesn't do animal products, we'd be more along the lines of nuts, and seeds and legumes like beans and lentils, but definitely our animal products, our meat, our fish, our eggs are going to be the anchor of each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? Now I'm gonna talk in another video more specifically about how to create a framework for each meal so that you don't have to stress out about what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating, thinking about elaborate recipes unless you want to, like if you wanna make a fancy quiche, that would be awesome, it's really tasty, but you don't have to. You're gonna know how to make it as simple and functional or as fancy and elaborate as it needs to be, as you want it to be, so that we remove all the stress, okay? But for now, those powerful, simple tools, drink more water, half your body weight in ounces of water each day, ridiculous amounts of leafy green vegetables in every single meal, even breakfast, all right? And anchor each meal with a high quality protein source. See you in the next video.